Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be explaining to you guys the differences between the pip installer and the conda installer available, available for Python. Now, let's look at them one by one. Now, uh, prior to 2012, the one of the pip is one of the major uh, installer tools available for Python. What it does is that you just install pip and then it will it'll make it'll build up all the packages manually e very easily for you if you have a python distribution okay now while pip is a good very good installer and many people will recommend pip okay uh, there are a few downsides to pip which i've noticed so i just wanted to notice and many people would agree with me on this regard okay i just want to share some of the information okay now pip is like uh, pip, pip is like a, 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 a very good installer no question about that but the fact is it, it, uh, you have to do a lot of dependency, dependency checks while installing packages. Let's say you want to install a particular library and that library requires four, more, four or five more libraries to be installed beforehand, uh, before installing p uh, that particular language, let's say, then pip may not be able to detect all those dependencies. Either if you install them, it will just install without showing anything or or you know, it might say that the certain dependencies are not met, yeah, and not met with, and so, and it might go away, okay, thereby making the installation possible, d difficult. Thereby, this actually forces the user to have prior knowledge about all the packages that need to be installed. Now, if you're like a semi-professional user, or uh, someone who has quite a bit of understanding about Python and uh, had experience with installing, and maintaining packages, then uh, this is fine. But if you're like a beginner who just wanted to uh, start, who have just started Python, this might be a little added responsibility that uh, it might be a little, it might be difficult for you to work with. Okay. Second thing is that I've noticed is that uh, you know creating multiple environments is difficult. You you cannot create envir multiple envir environments with pip, so you need this program called as virtual environment to create multiple environments and maintain them. And after you create them okay you have to install pip and get, get install that program a virtual environment and using that you have to create an environment and afterwards i think you have use pip to install the packages in the environment i'm just saying this is a li little bit cumbersome to create environments and maintain them okay now you might ask me hey why do i need multiple environments well if you're a simple user okay then having multiple environments is not a pro not at all requirement it's not a big requirement like me Okay, I just use mostly Python 3 for my work, so it's not a big deal. But if you're like a developer, you're running several kind of projects wherein each project is very uh, environment sensitive, and even if a small changes in version numbers uh, can make the program uh, hard to run or something like that because of several dependencies, then it is required, it is kind of mandatory to have multiple environments. Okay, and one more thing is that this uh, pip installer can mess up with the uh, system python usually if you are if you are in linux or uh, linux or unix you will have uh, python installed in your operating system directly and this is very very much applicable to you know users uh, linux linux users okay because python is installed in your operating in the operating system by default okay now why is that it's because many of the pro software they use python ba they use python li libraries and python libraries for run for the run for running for and for execution as a consequence okay what happens is that let's say you go and update or upgrade or downgrade or uninstall certain packages okay then what will happen is that the system programs that use those libraries they might be sensitive to the upgrades sometimes if if you upgrade a package they may not cause an issue but sometimes if there is a very uh, how do i say a cranky program let's say a software let's say that is very sensitive to upgrade or uh, upgrade uh, upgrading or a downgrading uh, libraries then they might get, they might get upset okay they might start well or they might throw some warnings or some error screen error messages or they might throw a bug saying this is not working or something like that it can happen now looking at all the looking at all this we notice that pip is pip is good pip is a good installer but has dip, cannot main, look for dependencies and maintaining environment has to be done by a separate program let's say 
let's say and with pip you cannot install uh, you cannot uh, start programs from install programs from scratch okay let's say you want to build a program right from scratch okay uh, that means you have to compiling the program and uh, compiling the library from scratch and installing them you can't do them directly with pip I, I think you can but it's a little bit complicated okay now looking at all of this looking at all of this uh, one uh, alternate option for all of these in one single shot is this conda installer available from anaconda or miniconda it's actually a, a pack package manager from uh, continuum analytics and what it does is that if you use uh, if you use anaconda or miniconda installer they will have conda as one of the package man conda as a package manager and this package manager okay what it does is that it does it uh, it kind of like uh, complements these three options or gives options to all these three options uh, easily whenever you install a pack a python package let's say python as well as non python packages let's uh, 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 python packages let's say it helps you to it helps you to list down all the dependencies and install them properly and one more thing is that if you want to go for non python packages that is pi package that are not core to python okay that is like kind of like out uh, away from python but okay away from python then then pip is not pip is really not good to install them okay you can't use pip to install them very that easily okay whereas conda can you conda can install that okay and in conda the installer it lists down all the dependencies for both the python as well as uh, the programs that are slightly away from uh, python okay core python that is okay libraries are a uh, slightly away from the core of python you can install them and list down all the dependencies and you and it will tell you whether to uh, upgrade or downgrade packages okay and so when you install a particular library it will also list you all the libraries that are required to install along with it so you can do that and also you can swap between the packages whenever it's necessary second one more thing is that this is very interesting and very very simple is that you can create envir python environments using conda and swap between them and may swap between them very easily okay and each of these environment the installation is very very simple and straightforward conda helps you to install install them okay and in the conda uh, you have the option to build a package a ca link pack uh, you can install the you can install the libra libraries by either building them from scratch or just linking them using the binaries that you download from the internet okay or uh okay yeah, these are the only two options and uh, other and other than that one one of the things i really like about anaconda the conda installer is that it they do not affect your system python okay what i mean by that is conda will create a separate installation of python Okay, I mean you can do the same thing with pip. Okay, you can have a separate installation of uh, uh, Python using pip. Okay, um, using pip. So in Conda, you can do the same. You can the what it does is that it just instead it does not disturb your system Python, but it by default creates uh, a separate version of Python. Okay, and this Python this con uh, Python version from Conda. Will uh, will be used for, uh, will become the default Python in your operating system to do all the options, okay? To do all the uh, uh, programming. Now, when you're running certain packages, let's say, or installing uh, some systems of system software, let's say, then in that case, this will go to the back. This will go. Uh, this will take the back seat, and the uh, system Python comes to the forefront to do all this. Thereby, this will not interfere with the system operations. Okay, this will just on work only for your regular ca regular um, programming. Okay, that being that being said, Anaconda installer is uh, the Conda installer is much much easier. And just to give a quick explanation, quick explanation and a, a, a comparison, this is a I, this is actually a page from uh, Anaconda uh, Continuum Analytics wherein they discuss the they compare Conda, Pip, and Virtual ENV. ENV. So with Conda, you can install package, update package. You can update the package manager, uninstall packages, create environments, activate environments, deactivate environments. Okay, you can do all of that in pip. Some of these features are missing. Some of some of these features are missing in virtual environment. You can just create and swap between environments. Environments. Okay. 
uh, in pip you can install the packages not a not a problem okay not a problem uh, in, P in conda you can do all of you can do all of them quite all of them and now uh, also I wanted to let you guys know that some uh, I found this article article uh, written by a person named Jake van der Plaas okay Jake van der Plaas this is like a this is actually a very good article very good article uh, and this is actually a recent one too it was written in the, this uh, this August 2016 here this person has explained the myths and misconceptions about what Conda is and what Conda is not Conda is actually a package manager it is actually a general purpose package manager meaning meaning Conda can be used not only for installing Python but it can also be used to install any other pack any other software okay now mostly a kind of the Conda distribution made by Uncontinuum Analytics is actually used for main installing and main managing packages Python packages but it can be used for de several purposes as well and Conda is actually uh, distrib is actually a package manager inside the Anaconda distribution or the mini Conda distribution okay and uh, one more thing is that Conda and Pip are not direct competitors. That I just want to explain that cl very clearly. Okay, Pip uh, Pip is used by Conda under the hood. So Conda is like a super package, okay, which uses Pip and Pip setup tools and virtual environment under the hood and make it easier. Okay, so Conda is not a replacement for Pip. Just that Conda is like a an added Conda is like a program that uses Pip under the hood, okay, to make it easier to make our to make the user's life easier. And uh, that's one of the reasons why I like Conda because it's not it's not a direct it's not a replacement for Pip, but it's just a simple simple it's a simple tool made from Pip and other softwares to make it to make our life much easier. And the, and uh, and this is, this is actually this is actually a very easy option very easy option and there are like several myths and uh, myths and uh, clarifications about what conda is and what conda is not and what pip and what pip is not like i recommend you guys have a read through if you're like a beginner you don't have to read through uh, read through all of this but if you're like but if you're interested of course you can and on the other hand if you're like a regular user who are using pip Okay, or you have, or you, you started to use Conda, but you want to know some de basic details about what it is and what it is not. Then this is like a good read for you guys. This will take about uh, 10 to 15 minutes to read. Okay, this is quite a big article, but this is a really good piece of writing. I recommend you guys to read that. Okay, just uh, just type. Um, if you guys want to know, just type. Uh, Conda versus Pip versus Conda, and you'll get uh, you'll get uh, you'll get this art you'll get this article. And of course, there have been a lot of the discussions about this in stack. There's a discussion about this in Stack Overflow, wherein many people have asked uh, many people have uh, accept, uh, asked for this question: What's the difference between Pip and Conda? How can we done How can we done with this? And there are a lot of answers over here explaining the dif uh, short differences between Conda and Pip, Conda and Pip. How what can be done? What can be done, and what uh, what does it mean, and everything? Okay. So I recommend you guys go go along and have a do a do your research by yourself. But this is like some information so that you guys you know what what it is. Okay. From in my experience, in my experience, working with Conda is much 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 easier because it made my life uh, of maintaining packages and programs e much easier in Python. So my personal verdict is that I'll prefer I'll prefer Anaconda, I mean the Conda installer. Although it is understood that Conda uses pip setup tools and virtual environment under the hood. Okay, so if you guys are like you just want to get get installed very quickly without uh, without any much of a hassle and you want to simplify your life, okay, go with go with Conda. And on the other hand, if you like a hardcore developer developer who wants developing packages and you want to build packages from scratch conda might not be helpful okay because you may because it just uh, masks up all the complexity and in that case working with pip might be a better pip or setup tools might be a better choice for you for you kind of people okay that's all i have for you guys in this tutorial thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in another tutorial with another interesting topic till then take care